Hey guys. Hey, how you doing? Why is this working? Hey, oh. Oh, oh. Turn it off, there you go. So the first thing I'm gonna say is thank you so much for um, all those subscribers I, and the comments on um, Race Against Time, that was amazing. And that's why we're here today, because I'm going to give you a 30 subscriber special. I don't know if I'm at 30 or not, I think I'm at like 28 right now. 33. So as you can see here, I am making a Return to East or Sauna 3. That was two things, was three. So for your 30 subscriber special, I am going to show you, um, uh, I'm gonna show you a big behind the scenes of this movie. And after that, I'll show you, like, I'll show you my editing software, I'll show you how I make sound effects, I'll show you some of the stuff I do to make movies. So right now I'm doing a Hollywood scene, you know, with, um, uh, Hybrid. This is gonna be a reference to, um, uh, the second, um, uh, Return to the Sauna. But right now I'm trying to go dark background because it's supposed to be night, and there's just me in the background right now, so I'm trying to get this lid to just go here and just block out. The... Okay, I'm giving up the lid idea. The lid idea is stupid. I have no idea what to do right now. This is the big light I use. I forget what it's called. I'll, um, Embella. Embella. DC 24V. Yeah, I don't know. Did it! Did it! No, I'm just gonna do the stop motion bits, so. Of course, I'm not gonna tell you what's going on in this. Because they'll just, they'll just spoil it. No, don't knock that thing! Yeah, if I tell you what's gonna happen in this, it'll just all be spoiled. That won't be good. I just wanna give a shout out to Jin on the Blocks for you know, doing a shout out in his channel. Which is really kind of him, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. So while I'm um, uh, talking to you guys, I think I should probably um, uh, give a little bit of tips on making movies. So the first tip I'll give you is um, uh, how to use genres. A genre could be adventure, it could be action, it could be romance, that kind of stuff. So the tip to using genres is don't use just one genre. I've seen some stop motion movies that people do, and they're just like fight, 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 battle, battle, battle. What I'm saying here is um, don't use too much of that. Don't just go fight, 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 fight. I know it might sound really cool, but it's not. No, I um think a good um mix of genres is um action and romance, which um. Doesn't exactly fit well, but gets the um, watcher away from just feeling tense and, you know, like, action, 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 you know what I mean? Some people might not want to do romance, and that's okay, I see why. You should also make sure that your movie actually has a plot, and a plot is, you know, like, you know, what the main goal is for your movie and what's happened, like, say, for example, zombie apocalypse the main characters must go find a cure to stop it. That would be a plot. <laughs> Another thing you really need when you're making stop motion movies is patience. That's one of the most important things you need when making stop motion. It takes a long time. Like this scene I'm making here would take a little while because I need to make it all very slowly to make it look you know, really good. That's how I get the good animation. And if you really want to get good quality in your movies, the trick is, for me, this is my trick, I do really small movements, but I also make the, the frame rate as fast as it can, 30 to be exact. But the trick is, make it very small, very small movements. However, good quality isn't the most important thing you need in movies. It would be nice to see some good quality. It's not the most important thing. The most important thing is the plot and story. Voice is important too because if you don't have voice then you don't really know what's going on in the movie. Can stop motion be boring? Yep. Stop motion really can be boring. Yeah, but that's normally when you're in a scene that you don't really want to do. So it might be like a talking scene. You might not. That might be a bit boring to do. No, but really, you gotta do it. Back to um, that action, 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 action. Don't do that. Yeah, you're gonna have to have some talking time. Just realised I'm missing a piece on that truck. That's annoying. 
Oh, there it is. It's supposed to be a dinosaur in this thing. If you have like an open truck, then it's just gonna roam out while you're driving away. Look how slowly I move this truck. This is how slow I do it. There. That's how much I move it every frame. But once it's all put together, it's really good. Here's a tip that a lot of stop motion people say to do. Always build what the camera can see. Yeah, that means, uh, like, if you say you have a house, if you're making a house scene, say you're filming inside a Lego house, don't build the entire house. Only build, like, a little bit of the house. Only build, like, the wall and maybe the side walls. Just build what the camera will be able to see. Another trick to doing moving vehicles is when they're about to stop, do, like, you know, even tinier movements before you make it officially stop. Because then it looks like it's actually just parking. No! <laughs> Dang, that is so annoying when that happens. So that's something you've got to be wary of. Sometimes the camera will just... Well, if you have a stand like this. This rubbish stand. You'll actually be able to see in my movies when that happens. And sometimes they'll actually... Um, the camera might, um, like, change. The Everything might just go, like, sideways or maybe up or down or right. And it, it happens in the movies a lot. Like, probably every single movie I've done has at least one or two times that happens. You should check that out, see if that see if that actually happens. Or oh, you've just noticed it because I'm so bad at covering up. Okay, so what you can see here is um, the iMovie where I'm editing Return to East the Sauna 3. So far it's pretty good. And so I'm just going to be editing. Um, you're going to see like um, a thousand leaks. And um, I'll tell you about how I edit and how sometimes I make these um, sound effects. And so let's get started. rescue helicopter here and I've got about um uh, I've got a ton of um ways I can change that I can pitch it up I have no idea what that sounds like anyway what I want is muffled oh yeah because the helicopter's pine glass I know this might be boring for you to watch <laughs> ah so here we are um uh, this is how I do my speech recently I got this it's a microphone. Plug it in my computer, and I speak in here. So I'm gonna use this right now. Boss! Sometimes this thing has like a habit of making itself pitch. Boss! Yep, that, that is. Boss! Boss! This is the behind the scenes of me doing um, movies. It's more boring than doing the film itself. Boss! Okay, it didn't pitch. Awesome. What's the problem? What's the problem? What did you do? Thanks again for all those subscribers and the comments on Race Against Time. It's so awesome. And to June on the Blocks as well for giving me that shout out. That's awesome. I'll see you later because Race Against Time... Not Race Against Time. <laughs> Return to Esos Sauna 3 is going to have its first trailer very soon. This week, I say. This week, you'll see... Return to Sauna 3's trailer. Stay tuned and look out for Return to Sauna 3. Bye!